Let me be just. It was my honor. The rules, KWU Senshi, your referee, Senpai Nikolai Atanaso. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome in the red corner from Ukraine, Oleg Sveen! Oleg Sveen from Ukraine will make his debut here in the ring of Senshi. Champion WPKA, winner of the World Cup Kickboxing Wako, winner of the professional tournament Global Fight Max Muay Thai. He will One fight Artyom Pashpur from, from Russia. from Ukraine. Artyom Pashpur made his debut at Senshi 8 and won his fight. This will be second fight for him in the ring of Senshi. And now. His opponent in the blue corner. You all know him very well. Make some noise for Artyom Pashporin from Russia. And now be joined once again by Ernesto Hust, Mr. Yes. Perfect himself. Ernesto, what a crazy fight was the previous one, huh? Yeah, it was a good fight. Yeah, I mean, really technical, technical action. Um, yeah, I think. Uh, that, 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 those are fights that uh, it's hard to judge, right? It's hard to judge, first of all. But second of all, I think uh, the, 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 the crowd looks like the winner because that was good action. Yes, yes. And Atanas Bozilov was undefeated so far at Senshi, but I guess you cannot win every time, right? You cannot win it all. And there are still so many good fighters in the world, so... Of course. Like I said with the, my previous part, and I'm sure that will motivate him to bounce back even stronger in the ring of Sanchez. That's what you all hope, always hope. And now we're moving on to the next fight. Artyom Pashporin from Russia will face Oleg Tsvik from Ukraine. Both fighters in the lightweight division. Four so years older, Oleg Tsvik. I wanted to say a Soviet Union fight. <laughs> Yeah, there's, no like, but, there's no union but, anymore. But so. one guy is a cowboy, so how could it be? A and, one line, and one guy looks like an Indian. <laughs> <laughs> With the monk on, it looks like an Indian, but okay. Nikolai Atanasov, head referee of this fight. So, Artyom Pashporin first made an impression to me a few years ago when I saw his fight with Boakau. I thought, I thought he fought with Boakau. Huh? He fought with Boakau? Yeah, two times. He fought with Boakau, yeah. Ah. So he's a really experienced Muay Thai fighter. He's a serious guy. Yeah. But this is a KW full contact fight, so he will not be able to use his elbows. Okay. Yeah, but there's still enough uh, left. I mean, an elbow is not always that decisive in a, in a fight. Of course. Of, of course. course, when you make a, a, a cut, you, you win the fight like that. It's how, what the tie is like. But I don't like it so much. Nice one too by Artyom Pashporin to For sure. open up the fight. He's making a little stomping of the ring as a feint, I think. Yeah. Well, they both, they both kind of do. I think they're imitating themselves. Oleg Zvik now changing to South Pole. John Pashporin doing the right thing, moving away from from the strong hand of Oleg Tsvik. It's always interesting to see how uh, guys who are standing South Pole and guys who are standing Orthodox now, they both stand Orthodox. But yeah, Oleg Tsvik is uh, switching stances. Yeah, Oleg, Oleg switches all the time. And some fighters uh, have a big problem with that. Yeah, it could be confusing, right? It can be confusing. Uh, on the other hand, I see it like a fight is a fight. It doesn't really matter. That was a I quick low kick. That was a quick one, yeah. Uh, good, good straight. Good boxing so far by yeah. Artyom Pashporin. Yeah. But, but till now, Oleg's defense is quite good. Yeah. With the left hand, Mayer Tom Pashporin. 
seems that so far he's been using a lot of his boxing arsenal and he doesn't yeah. let go uh, fully with his legs. Maybe he's, he's setting something up. Now mm -hmm. Artyom is pushed to the corner. Nice uppercut. And what I like about nice him is that, he's that in his boxing he's always making at least two punches. Up till now. <laughs> Oh, oh, nice down. That was nice. straight to the chin. Nice counter. Nice counter move. The first great counter move I saw today. And we already, already hear the music, but the match is not over. No, 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 for sure not. But it could be over. Yeah, he's, he's looking for the counter now, and it's, yeah. On the one hand, uh, he doesn't need it, I think, because his technique is quite good. On the other hand, I can understand that uh, his opponent will think I have to score back because I'm behind on points. I got an eight count. It was a great move. Yes, this will be a 10-8 round for sure. Yeah, let me see what happened exactly. Uh, I don't think that's a replay. Artyom was pushed to the corner, I think, and he countered from there, or from the ropes. Yeah. Yeah, it was a counter. That was a nice move. I mean. A little uh, rope I mean, Well, well, I mean, uh, he drops the hand after the after the straight. And uh, he gets uh, rewarded, uh, or rewarded, he gets punished with a, with a good right. Uh, That's the price you pay. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's a great move. Those things I like. Painting. Yeah, uh, careful, mountain. careful start. No really, no, no really hits yet. They're both looking uh, how to uh, set up uh, their uh, master moves. It seems like Pashporin is all hands right now. He doesn't use much of his legs. Yeah, well, they both don't use their legs that much. You see, I should have said it earlier. <laughs> But I do understand uh, there's been a down uh, and, and so I can understand that you want to force something with the hands. Oh, a good shot to the body by Arton yeah. Pashporin. Nice. He's setting up that right hand with a couple of jabs. Yeah, that's, that's, I mean, it looked very good, but then he didn't finish it. That was too bad, in my opinion. So they're both kind of careful. Uh, Well, I think when you're behind on points, you should try to uh, to score. You have only, you have still uh, one and a half round uh, to go. You must feel that. Oh, now we see that Pashporni is starting to let his kicks go. Yeah, but he's leading the fight. Basically, very good action, uh, but there's no decisive uh, blow or p or kick yet. Again, nice right hand, yeah. and again by Pashporin. So far, his right hand has been his best weapon. Yeah. Oh. And a kick to the body, but Olaksvik welcomes it. Yeah, another one.
nice uh, round. Yeah, although uh, it was quite even and uh, it was not not that decisive actions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I liked the round because I saw good techniques. You see it back. Like the right round kick and I followed the two punches. Good kick to the body here. Good counter. Yeah, people in front of the TV, they see uh, those fighters taking those kicks to the body and those mm -hmm. kicks to the legs yeah. without uh, any sign of pain on them, but <laughs> they hurt for sure. You I know, when you fight, when you fight, uh, you have so, so much adrenaline in your body, you don't feel it that much. One time I got a knee on my rib and I thought I broke my rib. But I thought also thought, okay, this is gonna hurt after the fight. I don't care about this now. Yeah. And that's what I did, and and I knocked my uh, my my knock my my opponent out. And after that, uh, he asked me, "Do you have problems? Yeah, I have problems with my rib." And he said, "Oh, so I didn't really hit you." So yeah, I should have thought about that earlier. Yeah. Right, and see. we're in round three here, and the ninth edition of Senshi. A fight between Artyom Pashporin and his opponent Oleg Svik from Ukraine. About number 10. Again, Pashporin was pushed to the ropes. Yeah. And he counters from there. That one two combo seems to serve him really well. Well, he, he he shows that he has a good oversight, and that's why he drops his hands, and he's not afraid to get hit, uh, because he's sharp enough. And he's, he's kind of leading. He's playing a cat and mouse game with his opponent, huh? Yeah, he's, he's, he's like, he's like something like, you can't touch me. And... Uh, I hope I hope it will be for him like that because sometimes it doesn't work like that. But uh, he's he's he look the way he he sweeps him now. Uh, that's he's just the, very the, confident. The Muay Thai talking in him now. <laughs> yeah, it is it is it's at the one hand the Muay Thai, but it's it's like I say, it's 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 more the confidence. He feels like okay, you cannot you cannot you you cannot hurt me. That's how it looks like. And he has uh, one minute uh, to show uh, if it's true or not. Oleg Tvik giving his all there. Despite receiving uh, punches and kicks to the body and to the head, he keeps mm -hmm. on going forward. Yeah. He refuses to lose, but Artyom Pashpon is just too good tonight. Yeah, decisive, uh, like I say, and uh, knowing that he's, he has the fight in his hands. 30 seconds left of the third and final round of this bout. Nice body shot. Oh, oh and a head great. kick. That great, rocked. Great counter oh, like move. 15 seconds left. We will see the first knockout of the night. <laughs> Artyom Pashporin saying to his opponent, come here. Yeah, it was a great move. And this is the end of round three. These are the moves I like in a fight. These are moves are the moves I like to train. And uh, these are the moves of which I think uh, those can be used very good. Yes, a vintage performance here by uh, Artyom Pashporin. Mm -hmm. This will be his second win here in the Ring of Senshi. Yes. In a second uh, in a row event of Senshi. Mm -hmm. Let's see the judge's decision though. Thank you. <laughs> John Pashporin with the Russian flag and his cowboy head. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, another great fight tonight at Senshi 9. And your winner in the cowboy blue corner, Artyom Pashporin from Russia. Good fight.
fighter. I don't know how old he is. Out there just right now. Out there just right now. So, Artyom Pashporin is 28 years of age, so he's probably in the prime of his career right now, yeah. in the prime of his physical abilities. Yes. So, it would be great for him also to, uh, of course, to fight in Senshi, but also to fight in other uh, great promotions. Yes, for sure. Uh, he, he doesn't have an exclusive contract, so no, exactly, sure. and um, that would be that would be great. I mean, I think that Senshi is a, a very good step for fighters to uh, to uh, uh, to get on them, the big level. Yeah, yeah to, uh, to 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 show themselves uh, in the world, and from there going to the even bigger bigger promotions. Peter out taking a picture with the team of Artyom Pashpore. Yes.